Now let's get to the first part of what I want to present today. What I really want to talk about today is really basic, is you got to have a song, or at least a song idea. A lot of my clients come to me, they already have a song idea. My job is to take that song idea and turn it into something beautiful. My job is to frame it. You know, like they've already kind of drawn the picture, or at least the sketch, and then I help them with understanding the colorization. I help them to understand the texture they should use. I help them to understand, and then we sit and we talk. Myself as producer, they as my client, or the artist that's trying to present the material, and then we begin to work. But in this case, I'm just going to make up something on the spot here, some, put together some chord progressions, and just show you how I put together a track for a song. First thing you want to do if you're producing your music is come up with your basic chord progression and your basic song. So now we're going to go to the keyboard. I like to use, I have here in the studio, a chord triton. And this is an 88, this is the extreme. I also have what's called the, the, the Chord Triton Studio. And um, I use those and I do all of my programming in those boards. Or at least I'll say the basic programming. If you don't know what programming is, it's basically you do all your tracking, all of the pre, your ideas, and if you mess up, that I love that because if you mess up, you can just erase it and do it over again. So uh, that's what you do with creating. That's the first stage. What's up, y'all? I'm back. Oh, yeah, I was telling you about my Triton. Here's my Triton Studio, and down here is my Triton Extreme. It is 88 keys, and it's weighted so that you, especially you who are piano players, you know how you get that little flexibility and it's touch sensitive and all that good stuff and you feel like you're actually playing a real piano uh, when, you do, when you're doing your programming uh, and it's good for a lot of reasons we're used to playing a certain way but then sometimes you want that light sensitive touch that uh, this keyboard can give and so and I want you to know I do augment my music with other kinds of instrumentation sometimes I may prefer to use a live bass guitar opposed to the keyboard bass or I may want to have a guitar player come and play live or I might do something uh, and or I use other kinds of uh, instrumentation just to give it more of a live feel but for this demonstration and for this practice we're going to do everything on the keyboard today peace alright let's get to it okay here we go now we're, we're getting ready to start and we just start off with a uh, a little bit of a regular piano sound here, you know, it's going to sound kind of funny, but it, you know, right now, but later on, when we get it all together, it's going to be sweet, all right, I, I guarantee. Everybody has to start with an idea. Um, I think that when you're writing a song, if you can start with the hook of the song, the chorus, the refrain, then you can really expand it from there, add in the verse special verses, choruses, raps, whatever you want to put in your song, all right? So, I got another little idea. Actually, it's a song I wrote a long, 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 long time ago, but I, I'm, I'm going to try to bring it back to life because I've actually forgotten it, so I'm going to change it up a little bit. So, just starting with some basic chords. This is the pattern I'm thinking of right here. Yeah, that's sweet. Courses. You are the best friend, the best friend I ever had. Ooh, you are the best friend, best friend I ever had. Okay, that's that's you know kind of the song right there. All right, now, let's give it a little groove. So, what I'll probably end up doing is put a little tempo to it. All right, and... Um, you are about that tempo. Like that. How y'all like that? Feel good? I ever had... Yeah. Now, 
Now notice I'm playing the chords very basic, blocked, because if you try to put everything into it, then you leave no space for the rest of your instrumentation. And that's a big mistake when people are programming. You want to program very basic and then you add the flavor and all the doo-wops and little extra stuff later. So here we go. So that's, that, that sounds good. So now the next thing we do in every recording device has some kind of a tempo gauge, okay? Whether you're using the keyboard or you're doing it on the computer or whichever way you do it. So let's find the tempo, okay? On the Triton, okay, it goes like this. Let's, let's take it back to zero, actually back to measure one. And then you hit the record right button and you can probably hear that click in the background. We'll turn up a little bit. Okay, that tempo is at a hundred. Hmm. You are okay. I don't want to program it that fast. I think that's a little bit faster. Let's slow it down. We'll change the tempo. Maybe. And, and the beautiful thing about programming is you can change the tempo at any time. You can go real slow at first and then speed it up according to your skill level of playing. Okay. So we start here. You are about that tempo. And then later I can change it if I feel it's too slow. We'll probably just program a few. Alright, let's do that. So then we get two measures for nothing. Here we go. And I'll hit the button. Two, three, four, two. Ready, record. measures and I did it long enough so that when I want to feel my groove or whatever else I want to do with it you know what I'm saying I can I can do something different when I go to do my drums now once I've programmed my keyboard I know that I am NOT the most skilled player that I keep it straight steady on the beat so in all of these devices there's a wonderful button there's a wonderful thing called quantize find it use it it will help make your music tighter now you have to be skilled to know where your quantization should be some people quantize it uh, too narrow and you and you and it comes out too blocked sounding some maybe not quantizing it well enough so you have to experiment with that okay so I'm gonna quantize this and then we're gonna keep it moving all right so that our so it's really tight but let's uh